Map Evo 10 E85 500 wheel horsepower kit. And here's what $1,400 looks like. All right, so to get things started for that 500 horsepower, let's start with these assisted parts. So here's number one. Here is your MAP Evo 10 fuel filter. Okay, inline fuel filter. Here is a fuel pump. Okay. We'll see what's in that in a second. Here is a Grim Speed electronic boost control solenoid. All right, so I'll be getting rid of the boost pill when that time does come. Here are some harnesses. I believe that is for our injector dynamics. Yep. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure those are for these injectors right here. Injector dynamics, these are the 1300 cc's. So, plenty to work with. Put that to the side. What else? Yep, so here's the other the other two, total of 4. To assist with our fuel fuel pump that we got. So here is this little guy. More fuel pump hardware. Last but not least, what was in here? I can't remember what this box could possibly be. Let's see. And now that I see AMS, I do remember, I'm pretty sure this is our AMS fuel rail. Yep, this is our AMS fuel rail. Packaged pretty nicely. So there's that. So we have our fuel rail. We have our fuel pump kit. Injector kit with the ID1300 injector dynamics, okay. Our electronic boost control solenoid from Grim Speed. More hardware for the fuel filter. And here is the fuel pump. Which is kind of weird. I thought this was going to be a Walbro Walbro fuel pump. Maybe it is. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is for the fuel pump. I don't know. I'll be able to figure all this out in time, but this is just a little unboxing video. So, there's everything that came with the little kit. I'll link that down in the description below if you guys want to purchase one yourself. Keep in mind, you do have to special order this. You have to give them a call, and uh, they can set everything up for you. And, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll be seeing what kind of fuel pump this is. I was expecting a different one. Um, hopefully, they're just as good or even better. But regardless... If it came from MA Performance, I'm pretty sure it's going to run pretty fine. But um, yeah, so there's all that. So on top of all these parts right here for the fuel system, I actually also went ahead and grabbed an NRG Ops Flex Fuel Kit. So I already made a video in regards to that. So that's basically going to go ahead and help out with running Flex Fuel, running E85, 93, just in case I can't get to a certain type of gas, I should be covered. This is all going to be installed on the car but not until I get all the parts ready so still got to get my Evo 10 turbo back and we'll just go from there but a little message to you little OG's out there from the very beginning of my little rally art build um, power is finally starting to come around it just costs a lot more money and not like a little lip kit or anything like that these are all expensive parts so this kit correct me if I'm wrong I think it ran me I think 1400 bucks and that was with um, the AMS fuel rail and the boost control solenoid. So you can get a little bit cheaper or you can get a little bit cheaper if you buy, uh, buy used parts, but this is all brand new from MA Performance. So again, thank you for them sending it out, sending it all out and kidding all this stuff because that could be a little pain in the butt too if you have to go source everything yourself. But pretty excited. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of time. Keep saving that money and we'll get that turbo on here eventually and we'll go ahead and hit it on a dyno. But before I do all this stuff too, I also want to go take the car out to the drag strip, kind of go ahead and see the quarter mile, see what the car is pushing currently with a little GST tune and some bolt-ons, 
and um, yeah I'm expecting like mid 13s maybe high 13s I don't know if I'm wishing too too far down the road but that's what I'm aiming for but uh yeah so here's one more little puzzle to the 500 horsepower build and if you guys have any questions comments or concerns ways that you should pop ways that you think I could probably benefit a little bit better from or any advice as far as that fuel pump goes or anything like that please let me know um, all advice is welcome advice so other than that I just want to say thanks for watching never live your life and I'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>